Yes, you. Why aren't you playing Undertale? And wait, why does my script look so screwed up? Let's just forget the script, Commander. We're winning it this time. Zelda has always had a strong presence in the Smash series ever since Melee. She's ranged from her Ocarina of Time form, her Twilight Princess form, and now her Link Between Worlds form to her alter ego in Ocarina of Time and Hyrule Warriors, Sheik. Unlike Link, however, there has only been one Zelda per game. Two, if you count Sheik, but I'm not going to count him for the purposes of this video. Okay, so maybe Sheik does count. But really, does anyone really look at Sheik and say, that's Zelda? Hmm, nope, did not think so. Even considering that, there are now officially three Links in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate with the re-inclusion of Yun Link, who plays very similar to Toon Link, just less floaty. There now remains a problem that Zelda is officially short of another version of herself. Now unless you just really don't buy into the multiple versions of the same character like many other people do, you won't see much of a point in adding another Zelda. But if you do buy into this beloved concept which other people think is so dumb, then you will agree with me when I say Zelda is getting an echo. Roll the theme song! Early on, when Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was first teased, we probably wouldn't have considered another version of Zelda to be likely, but with the new Echo Fighter system and re-inclusion of Yun Link, I think they have every reason to add a new version of Zelda, most likely as an Echo. Now we all know Toon Zelda is the most likely, not only because she appeared alongside Toon Link in Wind Waker, but also for other very special reasons, the first being that Zelda takes her down special directly from Zelda's Phantom ability in Spirit Tracks. But the real reason I want to talk about today is possible story potential if the Mysterious Spirits mode does turn out to be true and is a spiritual successor to the Subspace Emissary that is focused on main characters losing their spirits and claiming them back. Toon Zelda fits into this role better than any other character as this was her primary role in Spirit Tracks and considering one of Zelda's moves is taken specifically from this Zelda, that could indicate a potential spot for her on the roster. Okay, stop there, buddy, because you just painting it like a dundee when it's not. Now, before any of you believe this garbage, which is Spirits Mode, as the next story mode in the Smash series, let's just look at the evidence there. We have a new mode allegedly called Spirits, both in English and Japanese versions of the Direct. But this is subject to change, is it not? For all we know, this title could have been put there as a gag. And don't even bring up Rathalos. For all we know, this could have been a boss rush mode. I mean... Would that really be all that hard to believe? As for Spirits Mode itself, it could really just be Smash Runners. It shares the exact same colors as Smash Run and 3DS. So at this point, none of us really have enough evidence to be certain of the story mode. But what do you think? Is there really a chance for Toon Zelda to appear as an Echo? Or has this box art theory got you convinced that there's only room for Skull Kid and Shadow? Or maybe Geno, Rex, Pyro, and Mithra? Or maybe Bandana D and Shantae? Or Goku and Spring Man? Dread all these potential fighters. Somebody's got to be sad any way you put it. As a 3D modeler, just let me make it clear. That box art like this could seriously be made in an hour or so nothing's set in stone yet. Sound off your opinions in the comments below and be sure to take a look at my other episodes of Crafting Super Smash Bros. Switch. Every view counts, so be sure to share this video with your friends. Throw out any ideas you'd like me to mention in my next video and have a blessed week everyone as I will see you all later.